Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm from uh, Melbourne, Australia, and this is my 2004 Honda Odyssey that I'm currently living out of. So I'll uh, give you a tour if you'd like. So we've got some drawers here. This drawer's a little bit sticky, <laughs> which is annoying. There we are. Got the van about two months ago. Spent about a week kind of doing it up uh, at my friend's house, so that was good because. Yeah, he had all the tools and all of that, so we kind of like trudged it through. It was quite, um, quite a process and a lot of like, it was definitely harder than I expected um, to do the build, but I don't really have much carpentry experience, so that's probably why. I've got like kind of compartments for food um, down here, and that was really good with this model actually. Oh, it's a little bit messy, but um, there's, so we basically like took all the seats out and there was it's a seven seater or i think it's yeah something like that and um there was this was like a compartment for seats so we took that out and that added like a lot of extra space that i sort of didn't really like count on having so that was like a really good thing with this van i chose this as well because it's kind of like quite discreet um which i thought would be nice um and potentially a little bit more fuel efficient than like a massive van um, and I didn't need heaps of space because I've just put I've just got a single bed in there, which is good Yeah, this is basically the whole kitchen area. So um, I usually keep my gas stove in here um, Food in here and then this is all my this kind of my cutlery drawer, which is a little bit makeshift But um, yeah So this is the kitchen area and then like usually if I'm cooking I'll just sort of get this out and kind of like prepare it all here, but usually I sort of just do what we've done over here so basically like cooking out on the out on the grass somewhere because I find that a bit nicer and, but we'll see I think I'm gonna get a little table actually because um, yeah it does kind of get annoying sometimes but the bedrooms around here I'll leave that open. the other great thing about this Honda Odyssey is that it has like electric doors and I love it it's kind of loud sometimes if you're trying to be discreet in the middle of the night you just hear this whirring sound but I think it's really helpful. Um, so, yeah, I've got um, the the bedroom area. So I keep my clothes in here. Um, that's my kind of cupboard drawer. Yeah. So I've got this. I actually found this like piece of wood, um, and it's perfectly straight. So I like love that. Um, and I'm just hanging this off there. But on these windows, I've just kind of duct taped paper there. But um, actually that is gonna have to come out because um, the humidity is like making the duct tape lose its stick. So that's one thing, but um, there's a solution to every problem. So <laughs> that will be, that's part of the work in progress. I might upgrade to a double bed, but I actually quite like that there's space in there besides the bed because it just, I don't know. It just means like I can do other stuff rather than just like I don't know, I, I didn't really want a van that was just for sleeping necessarily. Like, I like that I can sort of put stuff up here. It just makes it a lot more livable for me. This is kind of storage. Um, and those two under there are sort of storage as well. But I don't have heaps of stuff, so I kind of try and keep it um, to a minimum. And pretty much if I don't use something, then I don't have it. The only thing that I really have in long-term storage, which is under there, is like, I've got like a wetsuit and stuff like that for diving, so yeah, that's about it. But everything else I pretty much use every day. There's like lights all in the back, which is nice. So if I'm parked and I just need to light it up for a second, then I'll use these ones so that like that and there. There's like four in the back. Um, but I can't obviously use them at all times because there's, you know, the battery will die. So yeah. I guess this is my lighting, but I, that could definitely do with some improvement. And then charging, I usually charge like throughout the day if I'm at uni. So I'll charge my laptop um, there. But if I need to charge something, there is um, like a power outlet um, little guy there, like in the cigarette lighter part of the car. Yeah, definitely one thing that would be good would be to have a cooler. Um, I did have a cooler for a while, but it actually snapped so that's why I don't have a cooler at the moment um, and yeah I didn't want to I didn't want to have to keep buying ice so 
that was another thing so I'm still kind of trying to work out the refrigeration issue but most of the time I just don't buy food that needs to be refrigerated and it works fine like I get for lunch I pretty much have like wraps and like you know if you want to buy something that needs to be refrigerated just cook it straight away which is ideal um but yeah so that's mostly it and then i had um skim milk powder for milk but that's built all in the back so that was a bit annoying um but yeah other than that the refrigeration is yeah would be good to get some refrigeration why do i live in a man when i first came here it was like um financial thing so like the rent here is really expensive and I'm I don't have a job yet but I'm sort of looking still for a job so basically like it was such a good way to save money and also I really wanted to try it because I had seen it around and I knew it was a thing and I've kind of like ex like done a little bit of living in vans back home but um I want to do it for myself and see if I could do it because I'm here only for a year I wanted to get as much like traveling in as possible around uni so it was a really good way for me to kind of like not be chained down to a house and like feel like the freedom to and kind of have like that extra cash to be able to go out and like sort of do road trips up and along the island coast so that was kind of the main reason definitely my favorite thing about living in the van is um kind of the freedom to just I feel really like independent in a way I can kind of go wherever at any time and I, I love that I can sort of just like drive down to the beach and like I know I'll have everything that I need to do whatever I want to do so it's kind of like you know if I'm hungry I don't need to go back home and like cook dinner or whatever I can just like if I'm enjoying myself like I can stay there for as long as possible and I can stay there overnight and I can stay there for a week you know so I really like that and um I think it just it really changes like how you spend your time because I don't I don't spend time like necessarily like watching movies on Netflix as much as I would if I was at home and I feel like I don't spend as much time worrying about things because it's just like I'm here and this is all that I have and I I really like that so yeah it just changes your time management I guess because I'm just feeding myself as well so I just I don't waste really any food which is really nice so basically everything I buy I'm eating and like that's quite cheap um, and in terms of petrol I think that's probably one of my biggest expenses which is kind of annoying but I think that's on me because I am driving a lot so I often like pretty much every weekend I'm driving like at least like an hour and a half to go somewhere so that's my fault like I could definitely spend less money on petrol but that would sort of defeat the purpose of being in the van so I try not to worry about that too much when you take rent out of the equation like I just feel a lot better about spending money if I wanted to say like get a nice meal or something then I, like I would never usually do that but now I feel like I can do that because I'm sacrificing the money that I would spend on rent so that's really good everything I have is kind of on my person if if not in the cast I like I like that idea and yeah I don't I don't really have that many things in general and I guess being over here as well like all I have all I had when I came here was everything that would fit into a backpack anyway so it's kind of like it wasn't so much of an issue I definitely yeah didn't need to throw anything out but yeah I definitely I, I think that living like a minimalist lifestyle is probably really I think it's really good for your like soul and I think it makes you like kind of just like a lot happier because you don't have to worry about where everything is also the other thing that like kind of unexpected great thing about having the van is I'm I've always been the kind of person that like has a very like loose hold over my things when I did have things and so I would lose stuff all the time or like misplace it and I said I spent like you know half the time looking for things but now it's just like I know where everything is and like everything in this van sort of has a purpose I don't really have any unnecessary items so I'd lose like I never lose things anymore so that's really good I guess like parking at night sometimes can be a challenge because you definitely you don't want to feel like you're encroaching on anyone's space and I like sometimes if I park in front of like a residential street I don't I don't like that feeling that someone would kind of be living on that street and not want me to be there so I like I try and get around that by say like parking like near here which is kind of like there's no houses around so that's good or anywhere where there's a beach I think is sort of fair game like if you're in a beach car park like you know no one can really 
worry about that too much. So refrigeration is the other one. So yeah, like making sure that I don't eat food that's covered in bacteria from my own van life. That would be probably a bad way to go down, you know, <laughs> killed by her own van's humidity inside it. So yeah, I definitely need to kind of figure that one out. Some advice that I would give to someone who was thinking about doing this but haven't done it yet. Um, I would say go for it. I think it's really fun. Um, I think like there's obviously a thing going around there where like people say it's you know not as glamorous as it looks on Instagram or whatever and like I don't know I haven't seen it necessarily. I haven't been exposed to that kind of like over glamorized part of it but it's definitely not glamorous if that's what people think like like I think sometimes you can feel like a bit of a sketch bag because you're sort of like sleeping in your car I guess but if you don't care about that then I think it's great yeah don't, I think like one thing is like don't be afraid that you're gonna feel lonely necessarily because like I think loneliness is a part of life and sometimes like being alone is really good for you and like yeah, I think a lot of people who do this sort of van thing, I've noticed, I'm not sure if that's like all around, it. there's like lots of couples, but I don't think you necessarily need to be with someone to do this kind of thing. It's so fun doing it on your own and like you definitely meet like loads of people if you sort of have an open mind about like who you're talking to and I think like that's something that I really enjoy about it. So yeah, that would be some advice. Sometimes it can be annoying um, like going to the toilet at night so, so like if you have to drive somewhere to like you know fill up water even things like that so like I guess finding a good place to park is like crucial to how much you enjoy it sometimes so like if you can find somewhere which is near a public toilet and near a water source like that's great like that's awesome and there's heaps of places actually where that is possible like anywhere near a park so like there's a public toilet not that far from here so that's quite good. One of my personal philosophies on life would be kind of to not do like any harm to anyone or anything so I think I really like the way that the van sort of complements that philosophy because I know where my impact is and I kind of feel very in control like of where all my I guess where all my things are from where they're going and what I'm doing because I guess it's a lot more connected to me so I like that and um just don't worry about the small stuff sometimes because like if you just laugh it off that's sometimes like a really good way to like enjoy yourself more and obviously some things are worth worrying about but some things aren't and like just enjoying like the moments you have is really fun it would be nice to add actually is like the more people that are sort of in the community I think it makes it really fun for everyone involved and get out there and kind of meet other people that are doing the van life and it will make you have a really good time because you know you can always yeah cook up with people and stuff like that so yeah that would be nice hi everyone hope you enjoyed this episode in the alternative dwelling series if you wanted to see more a playlist is popping up right now where you can watch every episode we've ever made uh, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button and check out the links in the description if you want to support this channel and this show and we'll see you next monday for another episode of alternative dwellings